Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing chi-square test type 2 that is test for independence of attribute and this is our third example. Welcome back friends, let's have a look on the given problem. Again, problem is given and table is not provided to us. We need to make a table. So let us identify the attributes given in the problem. Out of 8000 people in town, 800 are females. So one attribute is females. 1600 graduate employees. So graduate is another attribute. So one attribute is female. So obviously the second attribute is male. So male female is one category. And the second you do have graduate. So if you have graduate, the other category is non-graduate. So we have taken graduate, non-graduate, male and female. You can do vice versa also no problem. You can write male, female and graduate, non-graduate doesn't matter. So column you can make in any way. I am going to add a total year and total year. So let's read the data and try to form this table. Out of 8000 people in a town. So there are 8000 in total people in a town. 800 are females so female total is 800 800 p female total is 8000 that means 8000 minus 800 7200 are males in a town 1600 graduate employees total graduates are 1600 120 are female so 1600 minus 120 that is 1480 are male total is 7200 out of which 1480 are graduate so 7200 minus 1480 you will get non-graduate that is 5720 this minus this you will get 680 and lastly you will get 6400 if you subtract this and this 8000 minus 1600 so this is your table ready again you have to have two rows and two columns because total we don't count so let's start it is asked use chi square test to determine if distinction is made in the appointment on the basis of sex null hypothesis is no so step number one is your null hypothesis that is distinction is not made in the appointment on the basis of sex. So this is your null hypothesis. In alternate hypothesis you are going to say yes that means the distinction is made in the appointment on the basis of sex. Step number three as discussed is your LOS that is a level of significance. So here it is 5%. It is not given anywhere. So we are assuming it. Next is your degree of freedom. As discussed number of times the formula is R minus 1 into C minus 1. Here row is 1 and the same way column is 1. See here we don't count total row and total column left with two rows and two columns so that is one and chi square alpha is 3.84 this we got it from the table let's move on to the next step that is your step number four is your calculation part for calculation observed are there are four observed 1480 5720 120 and 680 1480 5720 680 and 120 now let's apply the formula for 1480 it is row total that is this upon column total row total into column total upon this that is 7200 1600 upon 8000 and the same way for 5720 this divided by this 7200 
into 6400 divided by 8000 likewise we're going to find it out for all the values so that is 1600 into 7200 upon 8000 this is the value for 1480 for 5720 it is 6400 into 7200 upon 8000 for 120 it is 1600 into 800 upon 8000 and last and the final value is 6400 into 800 upon 8000 so if you simplify you will get 1440 5760 160 and 640 so these are the expected value what is next observed minus expected this is the thing that i need to calculate for chi square so observed minus expected is this is 40 o minus e 5720 5760 minus 40 this is minus 40 and last is 40 observed minus expected the whole square all are 1600 observed minus expected the whole square upon expected so this is 1.111 0 0.277 10 and 2.5 if you add you will get the value of chi square that is the whole square upon expected that is summation that is 13.88 now friends we are moving to the last step that is your conclusion part here mod of chi square is greater than chi square alpha because mod of chi square is 13.88 and chi square alpha is 3.84 so what is the conclusion if it is greater reject nh and accept ah so our NH was there is no distinction made in the appointment on the basis of sex and we rejected it. We rejected the claim. So we accepted the alternate hypothesis. Therefore, the conclusion is distinction is made in the appointment on the basis of sex so we're done with the problem hope you understood it thank you